Welcome to Pass the Salt. This week, we're here at Henry Salt of the Sea in beautiful West Allentown. We're gonna go inside and meet with the owner, Brian Krantz, to find out why his restaurant is so popular. Let's go have a look. Hey everyone, I'm here with Brian Kranz, owner and head chef at Henry Salt of the Sea. How you doing today, Brian? Very good, thank you. Good. So, start off from the beginning. Tell us, how did Henry's become into origination? Uh, Henry's was developed by a uh, chef by the name of Henry Fidel. Okay. Uh, he was a uh, German-born chef, and at one time he had four different restaurants in the valley. Wow. And this was, hence, Henry's Salt of the Sea. Okay, excellent. And how long have you owned the place? I've been here for 15 years. Oh, wow. I'm the third owner, and I guess the place has been in existence about 45 years. Wow, that's great. What made you choose a seafood restaurant? Um, I used to run a restaurant north of here, and I was off one night with my wife, came out to dinner, came here, and on a Monday night, it was just slam and busy, and I figured, wow, this is an awesome restaurant. And my wife knew I wanted to buy a restaurant. She goes, why don't you talk to the chef? And uh, he had been here almost 20 years and he was getting tired. So he goes, all right, let's work out a deal. Wow, that's awesome. What is it that makes you guys so renowned in, in the Lehigh Valley? I think its reputation over the years has grown. Uh, you know, it started out at the West End and it was, uh, you know, back then there was probably 40 restaurants in the Lehigh Valley. Now there's over 300. Right. So, it, you know, we had a good location and uh, the quality was always here. We always brought in fresh food, you know, and uh, did things the right way. Right, and it shows. It definitely shows. So as a restaurant owner, a lot of people say when they come into Henry's, it's kind of like well, well, stepping back in time. You get a warm feeling. You know what to expect. What is important about that to you as a restaurant owner? What do you want your customers to feel when they walk into Henry's? Well, when they walk in here, it kind of reminds them if you've been down like south, maybe like a crab shack with the design and stuff. And I want them to feel comfortable when they come in here. I have a great group of people that work here. Okay. Uh, you know, servers are excellent. Bartenders are great. Everything is prepared here. Uh, we don't bring anything in frozen. You know, I do all the butchering, soups, the sauces, and it's, it's all homemade. And uh, you know, I just want them to enjoy it. And they do. Okay, great. So, what dish are we going to be making here today? Uh, we're going to prepare a lobster francais. It's a very classical dish. You take the lobster out of the tail, egg wash it, sauté it, and then it's all, you know, top it with mushrooms. Uh, capers, tomatoes, lemon butter. Mm, delicious. How long have you been making this recipe? <laughs> Probably about uh, between three different restaurants, about 30 years plus. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's a classic, but people love it. I mean, I go through like probably about 80 pounds of lobster a week here. Wow. Wow. Sounds good. I can't wait to try it. Let's take a look at how you made it. Uh, dredging the lobster tails in the uh, flour. Putting them in the egg wash. We're going to saute them over here. In a separate pan. Sliced mushrooms, shallots, tomatoes, some capers. Make a golden brown on the one side, and then just throw it in the uh, 325 degree oven. Bring it out. So on the plate. To the uh, sauce, we add a little burnt blanc.
Well, that was great. Thanks, Brian. Thanks to Henry Salt of the Sea. This has been another episode of Pass the Salt. Make sure you guys click on the link below so you can try out the recipe at home with your family. And stay tuned for next Thursday. We'll bring you another amazing restaurant. See you then.